So what you're looking at now, though, is both a word and um, a representation of the word, I take it. Yes. It still isn't easy to read, so Goldring invented a new kind of script, too. With my visual language, I've tried to augment the word graphically or through pictures so that the word book becomes B, an image of a book, a very simple image of a book, and a K. From the word fold, that's literally folded, to look, looking out, Goldring has lost count of all the words she's respelled in her new script. She can also play animation or video through the machine, showing a patient how to navigate through an unfamiliar setting. My idea is that one could sit in, in the privacy of one's home and look at the place that one was going to travel to and go there then with, with much more self-confidence. Mm -hmm. The world, of course, is made up of people as well as places. The seeing eye machine helps there too, enabling the user to see family or friends, possibly for the first time. It's amazing to be able to see a face, to have the experience, the visual experience of seeing a face. So after we talked, we gave Elizabeth Goldring a chance to see me more clearly on the seeing machine. I see your eyes very clearly. I, I didn't see your eyes at all during the interview, really. It's so bright. Goldring is still a poet, but ironically enough, after she lost her vision, she turned to visual art. These are reproductions of her own work hanging in a virtual museum. She calls her works retina prints, because that, quite literally, is what they are. Images of her own damaged retina superimposed on pictures of what she sees through it. My retina prints are my image of what I'm seeing as I look through the seeing machine with my blind eye. Um, they're a kind of blind sight. The seeing machine hasn't yet been manufactured for wider use. When that happens, Goldring says the visually impaired will not only get a chance to see, they will get a chance to create. It's just a short walk across campus to another researcher who's working full-time on the science of walking.